Hey guys what's up? Pre-requirements. Oppressor MK2. If you want to fly faster, always retract your wings. And without further ado. First things first. You don't need to be registered as a CEO or MC president to trigger these missions. Rival players cannot compete for the goods. Although they can see the events taking place, interact and even destroy the goods. There are two different mission types. The removals truck and the tugboat. Then only the locations will differ. Upon success or failure of a steel goods mission, there is a 20 minute cooldown timer before another can be started. Let's start with the removals truck because this is easy enough. Just shoot it. Steal it. Don't bother taking your oppressor MK2 with you. And deliver it. Now let's talk about the tugboat. But first let me tell you that the goods crate is located within the bridge cabin of the tug. When you start the mission Johan claims that there will be minimal resistance. If this is minimal I can imagine what maximum would be like. Things just got a lot more serious. More of those big guys incoming. Look out! Anyway. There are two very easy ways to steal the goods. Now let me show you the best way. Start by eliminating most of the enemies. Don't destroy the tugboat. Then land your oppressor on the front of the tugboat. Otherwise, if you land it on the rear of the tugboat you will not be able to pick it up. Believe me I have tried. Once you retrieve the goods more enemies will spawn and all you have to do now is escape. Now let me show you the second best way to steal the goods crate. Destroying the tug will not destroy the goods crate, but it will sink along with the tug. So, take out the enemies destroy the tugboat then find a suitable spot to land your oppressor. And dive. Of course scuba suit or rebreathers will help. But it can be done without as well. And finally, let me show you some nice places where you can land your oppressor and make an easy escape.
This is the hardest location of all, because it does not provide any cover at all and with that being said fill up your snacks and your super heavy body armor. Unlike business battles, which only give one unit of the selected goods type per crate delivered, completing a Steel Nightclub goods mission rewards you with a specific number of units depending on the goods type. That is all. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day or night.